Hey guys, even here and in today's video we're gonna be talking about Wesley Wissers and his most recent issues. It's something that I'm sure majority of us did not even notice. Yes, it's an issue with his physique and if you look at his physique right here, do you notice that something is off? You probably will not because it's not really the main point of focus, but we're talking about the calves. Now, nobody ever lost or won a show because of their calves, because they're good or they're bad. It could create a good illusion, it could help a little bit, but really, the judges are not judging them. The judges are not even looking at what is happening below the knee area. It's a good plus, it does look aesthetic. It's kind of like the same thing as posing routine. It's awesome to see it, but you're not gonna win or lose because of it. However, it's very interesting with Wesley Wissers because up until very recently, he had amazing calves. His calves were like one of his strongest body parts. It was crazy, especially for a tall guy like that. This is 2020, Mr. Olympia. Don't pay attention to conditioning. His conditioning was a disaster. He looked like he was deep into the offseason on this stage here. And some of you guys who are saying that he was overlooked before, think twice, think twice. He was not. He actually placed really well, considering how, how bad his conditioning was. Like, this was not even close, not even remotely close to what he's bringing these days. So conditioning was a horrible mess, but the calves were freaking big, right? If we go further back in time, back in 2018, his calves were even better, which is really weird. It makes you wonder what the hell happened. Why are his calves getting worse and worse after each year? Today, his calves are basically non-existent. They just flattened out for some reason. If you go to his Instagram account and you check his photos, most of them are cut at the knee area, a little bit below. He's not gonna show those calves. He's probably very much aware of what's happening, but we kind of didn't pay attention to that recently because he was so amazing everywhere else. I wonder, did he post this photo because it's Arnold in the photo or because Arnold hid his calves here? I'm just joking, of course, but I mean, look at look at the rest of the physique. Like he is freaking phenomenal. I mean, I'm literally not sure if Chris Bumstead is gonna be able to beat him in the Mr. Olympia. I made a video about it, so I'm I'm a fan. I'm a huge fan of what Wesley is bringing today. His recent physique, but the calves are an issue, and he knows that. To be honest, I don't mind it. I never even pay attention to them up until this point. Now that I'm aware of them, I'm looking at it more, maybe I'm not gonna after I forget about all this, but he made it kind of obvious when he posted this story. He was doing the electrode training, I guess that's how you call it, I'm not sure. Uh, he was doing this for his calves. Now, when I saw this, I thought, well, maybe he's just, you know, doing calves in a different way, trying out something different, maybe he's gonna get a better contraction or something like that. But really, there is an issue. There is actually an issue. And uh, he actually explained what happened because there is an Instagram page. It's called Who is the Best Bodybuilder? And honestly, this is my favorite. This is my go to Instagram page when I want to see anything about bodybuilding on Instagram. Uh, they're better than Bodybuilders Without Borders or Buys and Tries. Definitely my favorite bodybuilding Instagram page right now. And they posted this. They were basically asking a question What is happening? Why? Is Wesley doing the electrode training? And they actually put an explanation down below by a doctor who explained uh, what his opinion of the situation is. However, down below in the comment section, Wesley replied. He gave us an explanation. And he goes, the truth? I used to have the best calves in classic by far. The medial head for some reason went down in size. Possibly due to me using extreme range of motion on compound lifts during my leg workouts and pinching those nerves. So now I'm reinvigorating them with these impulses. Check out my story to see my calves five years ago to understand my motivation to get them back to their prime. All right, all right, so we got an explanation, a full explanation. He doesn't really know exactly what happened, but he believes it might actually be nerve damage from going too deep on leg presses and somehow pinching the nerves that way. Look at his calves right here. This is what he posted on his story. This is from six years ago. 
This was crazy, man. This was this was crazy. I mean, especially compared to what they look today. He was not exaggerating when he said it. He had the best calves in classic by far. I believe it. And I guess he probably had the best calves for a tall guy. I mean, at that height, how many guys have calves big like this? It's it's really rare. It's extremely rare. And by the way, I'm not sure if this photo is from a guest posing or a show. You guys tell me what do you think. But if this was from a show, then damn, he was really off with conditioning before. I mean, he finally cracked it this year. But so far, it was embarrassing the way he was showing up on stage. And considering how well he was doing before, yeah, this guy is genetics. Like, he has crazy genetics. And that's why he did so well. But this conditioning, this is not good conditioning. Check out this photo as well. <laughs> and look at his hair and his face. This is from, a, I don't know, a long, long time ago. Maybe even more than six years ago. His calves were, what the hell was that? And he's saying that this wasn't altered in any way. This photo was not morphed. His calves were legit like this. This is just... This is insane. This is like the best calves in the world. And now... They are MIA. But literally. Missing in action. Somewhere along the way. Between the training and dieting and doing cardio. He lost his calves. In all that action his calves disappeared somehow. It's weird. It's weird. He doesn't have an explanation. He assumes that it is from, you know, doing the leg press a certain way. If you're not sure what he means, I think the best example of this is Nick Walker and the way he's doing the leg press. He is going all the way down and I'm sure at some point all the tension goes moves from his heels to his uh, toes. And this is also the way I'm doing the leg press, basically the same way lately especially, I've been doing it like super super deep, probably even deeper than this, and yeah, I gotta say it was kind of hurting my ankles, but I thought it was okay, but now after hearing what happened to Wesley, I am a little bit scared, I'm gonna discontinue doing the leg press this way, I don't wanna lose my calves, I mean, I don't have much of a calves to begin with, but I don't need to get it worse, and I don't know, Nick Walker... I mean, again, the judges don't really care about calves. I mean, Nick's calves are big, but like he has those varicose veins. So even though they're big, it's probably for the best that the judges don't even look at them. And if the judges are not judging great calves, they're not judging horrible calves or varicose veins in the calves. The judges are not even looking at what's happening below the knee area. So it doesn't really matter too much, but I'm sure these guys are not only training to look good in the gym, but they also want to look good everywhere else. So... Maybe Nick should consider stopping this. Now, let's take a look at some of the examples of some bodybuilders who had like great, great calves. Really good calves. Look at this guy right here. His calves were phenomenal. And then later in his career, that whole inner part melted. It disappeared. Totally. I mean, the guy had massive calves and the outer part stayed. But the inner part totally disappeared somehow. If you think about the worst calves in today's modern bodybuilding, I mean, the guy is retired, but I'm not gonna give him a break. Ian Wallier was known for, like, the worst calves, some of the worst calves that the bodybuilding world has ever seen for a guy of that size and of that success. You know, he was top seven at the Mr. Olympia multiple times, second at the Arnold Classic, won five or six pro shows. Like, he was one of the top bodybuilders with basically zero calves not even zero they're like worse than zero like those calves are just you know, not just melted and small but they're deformed in a way so they were like really bad and you would think that it's all genetic but was it well let me answer it for you no it was not this is Ian Wallier in 2015 and if you look at his older photos when he was even younger his calves were even better so I guess at some point in his career he also had some nerve damage happened in his calves. Why? Is it the same reason as Wesley Wissers? It's gotta be. I don't know how much you guys followed Ian Wallier back when he was competing, but he was posting regularly uh, training videos, and he was basically known for his ability to squat really deep with a very narrow stance. Not just hack squats like this, but smith squats especially. I couldn't find a video, but he was doing them with like his uh, feet super close, and his feet were like all the way behind the bar. He won't even put them forward at all. So he was known for crazy ankle mobility. And I guess it's pretty safe to conclude that with great ankle mobility, and if you push the weight like this, I found a video of Ian uh, Smith squatting right here. Check the weight and check where his feet are positioned. 
So this is like this requires crazy ankle mobility and I guess that's why he lost his calves. At the end of his career he also suffered some nerve damage in his chest. How did that happen? I have no idea but it seems like we're onto something here. Maybe it's got something to do with training. Another example of melted calves was Dexter Jackson. There is this whole story about Sean Ray saying that Dexter put Sintel in his calves. I don't know about that, but at the end of his career, the same thing happened to him as it did to Ian and Wesley and many others. The inner part of the calves melted away. I guess it is some kind of a nerve damage. How does the nerve damage happen? Well, Wesley is definitely onto something. It maybe has to do with the way he was training his legs. Because the same thing happened to him and to Ian Wallier. And if it happens to Nick Walker as well, we will know for sure. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Tell me what do you think about uh, Wesley's calves and do you think it will hurt his look on stage? What do you? How do you feel about his calves being so downsized? Whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.